Hey there, everybody. This is Millennium Jester signing back in with Let's Play Mother 3. Last time we were here, we had uh, gotten Jester's help to climb up here, and we saw a little piece of cloth. So let's go check out what's in this cave. These moles. They got moles. Mischievous moles. Now let me see if I can remember how to hit this guy. Damn. So yeah, uh, I think I should mention by this point, I don't know if I have, but um, each character has their own instrument that they play, well, that plays in the background whenever you get a combo. Uh, I don't remember what most of them are. I know Flint's is a bass. I'm sorry, not Flint. Uh, Duster's is a bass. Uh, Bonies is a bark. But it's, it's, it's a little cool touch. Yeah, and also sometimes Duster will get the first attack by attacking with blinding speed, which is very nice. All the mischievous mole fell over. Yeah, but the, these guys are pretty easy. And one more, I guess. Why not? It's, I don't think we see them too often in the game. Oh, you tickled me. I lowered my defense. Yeah, I, I can kind of remember it, but at the same time, it's hard for me to hear, so... may not see too many uh, combos going on here. Alrighty, so now that we have all that, let's get our goods out. Start spreading them around. Beef jerky, which heals 60 HP, which is very nice. Give some nut bread to uh, Duster there. Alright, we should be alright. Let's continue on, shall we? But let's save first, because saving is very important. Remember, kids, if you don't save, then there's no point in continuing. What's going on up here? There's this pig mass and a... Moose? What are those? Are they human? I don't even know. What are they doing? Let's find out, shall we? Time to kick some ass. Flynn Eastwood. That's what I'm talking about. Uh-oh. Well, they're boned. Uh-oh. What are they doing? Uh... This could be bad, guys. I mean, I don't... I don't even know. I don't even know if we're ready... For boss time! Yeah, I, I had to kind of prepare that. The Reconstructed Caribou. This is kind of like the first boss in the game, really. So what you want to do is, I'm going to use my uh, strength enough to, hire, or to heighten my defense. And let's try out those thief tools, like the wall staple. Get Bony to sniff them. Mechanical Camaro, weak against lightning. Weak against numbness. Unfortunately, we don't have anything that can inflict those at this point in the game. So yeah, the wall staples will... Uh, um, oh, I'm sorry, uh, strengthen up increases your strength and your attack power, so... But wall staples will make it so that they can't move or attack in that turn, or for the following turns, depending on how long it lasts. Usually lasts about two or three turns. Uh, let's get uh, attack and attack. Bam! Smash. Yeah, hopefully we can get a couple more of those out. Smash and kick. Yeah, they can break free of the uh, wall staples. Stab with a horn. Yeah, they can do a lot of damage. Bam, two smashes. All right, I'm getting really lucky here. That fight's not supposed to be that easy, but um, looks like we won, as the game has told us. And we leveled up. Isn't that nice? Bony leveled up. Yeah. Looks like we took that thing out. Looks like it was... Alive once. I hope not. That'd be a damn shame. Lying on the ground is a notebook with a pig nose like mark on the cover. Give it a read, why not? Falling is written in poor handwriting. All the creatures around here suck. We need to make them cooler so the theme will be tougher, rougher, badder. We'll mix and match this and that to create whole new things that no one's ever seen before. <laughs> I dub it the Fascinating Chimera Project. Let's reconstruct and modify stuff slowly and steadily. 
And we get the notebook. Congratulations. Let's go this way. Where are they going? They got UFOs. What the hell? Oh, they're playing that music. I guess that's what flew over Alex's house at the beginning of the game. So let's talk to the Sparrow. Oh, yeah, they'll explain skills. They're... Yeah, it's different for each character. I've already pretty much explained all the skills we have right now. The fear's crumbled, huh? Guess we can't get across. Well, time to go down. Guess we have to go back down. I mean, not much else we can do. That cave was a dead end. Oh, look, there's a uh, Wes. I'm glad the thief arts proved useful, but our problem still hasn't been solved. Yeah, I wonder if they got through clearing away that stuff. Flint! We found the kids. Oh, man, thank God. Whew! Man, for a second there, I thought they freaking got hurt or something. That would have sucked. Alright, let's go see him. Glad to find out that everything's alright now. Huh. It's an interesting concept for a game. Save up, shall we? Doodly doo. Oh, Flint, Duster, this way, this way. Oh, look, there are the kids. All right. Whew. Let's see if we can talk to them. Let's talk to Leonard. going on here. Oh, look, they're safe. Hmm. I made some in-it tea, Flint. Please have some. It'll warm you up. Here, everyone else should take a break and get warm, too. Yeah, it's been a long night. I guess they still haven't found Hinawa. Huh. Maybe she's at the house. Maybe she went back and sent the kids here. Dad. This is the only time you really get to hear Lucas talk. Seems they both fell into the river and got washed downstream. Poor little things. I found Hinawa yet, but for now you should just warm yourself up by the fire. Flint! Oh, look, it's Bronson. I what's up with him. Flint, I'm, I'm not sure what to say, but just stay calm and hear me out. I have good news and I have bad news. What do you want to hear first? No, let me start with the good news first. I picked up a giant Drago Fang. It'll make for a great weapon. I figured you could probably use it. As for the bad news, well, what's the bad news? It's where I found the Drago Fang. It was in your... It was pierced through your wife's heart. Flint, just try to stay calm. I think the only reason Klaus and Lucas are safe and sound now is because Hinawa risked her life to protect them. Flint. Flint, I'm, I'm not sure what to say. Please try to pull yourself together. Oh. Flint. 
What? What are you doing? Klaus and Lucas are watching. Guess there was no other choice. Getting a little choked up here. I guess this is before when they went to go to Alex's house. I know this town had a jail. What did we get a jail? Is this where our tax dollars go? No one's ever been thrown in Tazmilly's jail before. You have the honor of being the first. Flint. You gave Ollie and Abbott a real walloping, but they're all right now. About Hinawa. I can only offer my deepest condolences. Still, why would a Drago attack someone? They're such friendly creatures. Yeah, something doesn't seem right at all here. Take it easy in there, er, here for a while. I know you must be having a hard time with this, but try and get some sleep. The Drago Fang that was stuck in Hinawa's chest. I'll hold on to it for you. When you get out of here, come drop by my house and get it. Don't forget now. Well, I guess there's nothing more we can do now. We're in jail. So I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Mother 3. Sorry there wasn't that much commentary in this episode, but it did have some rather interesting scenes. So see you guys next time. Have a nice day.